name is Rafael Warish from Mechanical, and today we're going to discuss the most important uh, cast tense pulling exercise. And many of you will probably guess or assume that it's to pull up the classic pull up. But let me change your mind and let me explain you why the body roll is the most important uh, cast tense pulling exercise. Body roll is also known as the Australian pull up. And the mistake I made, which I suggest you not to do, uh, to, to make is when I first started uh, calisthenics, uh, I, I, um, uh, I considered the Australian pull up as an inferior exercise to the pull up. Uh, so, as a result, I've solely focused on the pull up exercise and omitted any type of horizontal pull uh, movement. Which I mean, uh, which most call, I mean, which the most popular one will be the body roll or the Australian pull up because it was believed that the Australian pull up is used by be by beginners to transition to uh, to the real pull up eventually. And as much as I agree that it is a basic exercise to build the base strength, you know, that you need to transition to a regular pull up. I want to uh, tell you guys that it is as important as what's required to transition to uh, a very advanced uh, horizontal pulling exercise. This is what I mean. So whenever you start uh, calisthenics uh, you, and you're not able to perform a basic pull up, people are, uh, people are told to start with a shredding pull up, right? They usually start with a shredder pull up, which is performed in this manner. And for those who cannot perform it with a full uh, lever extended, you could just reduce the leverage and then squeeze the glutes and perform the assisted version. And eventually, as you build the, uh, the strength required to, uh, to perform the pull up, you will get to this version that most people don't instruct. They just, they just assume that you will build the strength and then magically be able to perform a regular, uh, a real pull-up. Pull -up. What's the, the problem with that methodology is that you will not really build uh, the proper mechanic uh, needed to perform a vertical pull. My, um, what you call, uh, with my method, after you build enough volume with a horizontal pull, the next best thing you can do is work on the toe assisted chin up, which will be having your toe aligned with, uh, on, under the ball. Then you retract your scapula and then drop forward by keeping the back on the tension. And then pull by using your toe as assistant to the least of the minimal. Uh, with the minimal amount of uh, assistance possible, depending on your level, you know. And the next best thing will be being able to hold yourself, descend to the negative, and then use your toe to come back up, lock up, descend, use your toe, and come back up. So, those. This is actually a better movement to teach you how to probably, probably properly pull and eventually be able to achieve a pull up. The horizontal uh, movement, in this case the body roll, has served you as a, as a base to build maybe the musculature that you need in your back before you're able to work on the, you know, the brute strength and uh, the skill movement itself. So this is, as far as we're concerned, how the uh, Australian pool can be uh, effectively used to achieve a real pull-up. Now, let's get back to the horizontal. So most people, they tell you that the uh, body roll is only used uh, to, uh, to help you achieve the vertical, you know, the vertical skill. But the problem is, even my best people, could still use the Australian pull-up, the body roll, to help them 
uh, eventually perform the ultimate uh, uh, horizontal pull movement, which is the front lever pull-up. And you will be achieving that by starting, obviously, with basic row. And as you get proficient, your goal will be to retract, really adapt the proper mechanic that you will need to consolidate the front lever and pull all the way to your chest, which a beginner most likely will not be able to do. But this just tells you that the, the body roll is a really powerful tool and that people really uh, underlook. And then once you're able to uh, perform that with a crispest uh, uh, form, your goal will be to bring your shoulder level to your heel level and eventually even higher to create a deficit and be able to load your uh, your back even more. And you achieve that by bringing a bench. So let me see what height could I possibly use. Yeah, this would be good enough to create but still higher. I feel with this, I'll be able to be, yeah, I'll be able to be uh, hip, heels, and uh, shoulder align, retract the press, and then bring up powerfully. And as you get stronger, you need to increase the deficit and be at the lower level then you have a slanted decline kind of looking uh, position and then same thing happened you pull so the lower you bring yourself and the higher your feet the more deficit and the more strength you are able to achieve and as you can see as you get lower you're pulling toward your hip which is the same, uh, uh, the same pattern that you observe whenever you uh, want to achieve it, like a front lever pull up. So this is a good base, I mean this is a good movement to use while you're working on the front lever skill to help you build some hyper, I mean uh, stimulate some hypertrophy while you're working on the skill itself with other drills and basic drills. So this, this just uh, explain how the body, the body roll and Australian uh, Australian pull up is a very important exercise uh, in calisthenics. It will be used not only to build the minimum requirement needed to transfer to working vertically in aspect of pulling, but also what, what people usually neglect it is to be used to excel in the results of pulling. So this is why I believe that the body roll is, goes beyond just helping you uh, be an accessory to uh, achieve a pull-up uh, for beginners like many uh, calisthenics book uh, are portrayed in the past and uh, at the, uh, the inception of the rise of calisthenics, many books that came out we're telling the beginners that the body roll is to be used only to help you build uh, like a pull up and that it is an inferior movement to the pull up. But no, if you're a beginner, treat the body roll as importantly as any other pulling movement because not only it will help you uh, bearing your vertical pull, it will help you unlock the ultimate pulling power, which is uh, some very advanced movement like a front lever pull-up, especially if you happen to have uh, some big legs, it can, you know, it can be tremendously, uh, what you call them, rewarding once you're able to, uh, you know, to achieve that, uh, that type of uh, pulling, pulling strength, because trust me, if you are able to perform a front lever pull-up, your weighted pull-up will definitely be off, you know, off the roof. So, yeah, that's uh, that's that. This is the reason why I, I strongly believe that the body roll is a 
very underrated uh, movements in calisthenics, and it can be only not only it can be used on the I mean using the Smith machine, which is one of the only time I use the Smith machine, and I suggest you to use the Smith machine. But and that's another topic. I made a video about it, and people don't like it because they love the Smith machine. But you can use the ring as well to be able to slide up and down uh, the height and uh, gauge uh, how much distance you need uh, in order to adjust your your feet height or your shoulder height and uh, yeah so that's that you can use the rings very efficiently to uh, to work on those rolls and if you don't have a like a smith machine so that's that i think that sums it up straight to the point i just demonstrate you with no scripts uh what i wanted to uh to explain Body roll is the most important uh, pulling exercise in calisthenics. If you're not down with it, well, fight me. I don't give a shit. Everything is, and we always be. Be smooth. Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. It helps a lot, the ranking of the videos. And uh, yes, uh, peace.